Okay, no fear. First, we factor the denominator into quadratic terms since that's what lets us do partial fraction decomposition the easiest. And then using the definition of partial fraction decomposition, we have this guy, right? Where f of x is our left quadratic and g of x is our right quadratic. And so to solve for all of these constant c's, we make this matrix and solve that, which takes forever. So I'll leave that to you. But now remember our constant c1 is the top guy up there and c2 and c3 follow downwards. So using the fifth and sixth constants, I'll show you our third indefinite integral where we just take out a huge constant and let a be that constant to keep this semi-legible. And then we rewrite our numerator on the right-hand side and remove some constants because it will now allow me to do this where since our numerator is the derivative of g of x we can do a good substitution trick and then it's just our log derivative but now you'll notice you know we're kind of in trouble with the right hand side and so all you do when you're in trouble is you go okay let's just complete the square and see what happens so we get this guy then we can sub in s for x plus 5 to the 1 fourth divided by root 2 and now we are almost done, right? As we can just factor out our constants like we do on the left-hand side here and then sub in P for this guy on the denominator. Since if P is root two times S divided by five to the one fourth, then the derivative of P is obviously root two divided by five to the one fourth. And then we're in the money. So you guys should be able to recognize this as our arctan derivative. So we have this guy and then plugging our definition for P gives us the right-hand side. And then plugging in the definition of S gives us the following. Now you might think, okay, we're done. And really we sort of are, but don't forget about plugging in A and G of X. And more importantly, integrating all of our other terms. So I'm not gonna go through those here as they are very similar to this guy, but I'd love to take a look at any solutions if you post in the comments below. And yeah, we're done.